unfortunately, one team just hit a bad note. I have a lot to prove here. I've been a runner-up twice in two seasons of Top Chef. I want to have a win. There needs to be two Voltaggios in a household to have the title of Top Chef. Please pack your knives. Don't go anywhere just yet. You're gonna have a chance to get back into the competition tonight. <laughs> what? What? Hi. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know that I have any gas left in my tank. I'm pretty tired, I'm pretty over it. Good luck. So I guess we'll just have to see. Last Chance Kitchen starts right now. The waiting is over. Three chefs will battle. Only one will fight their way back into the competition. All right, guys, let's go. Will it be James Beard Award winner, Karen? Where I'm from, they called me chef, too. Yeah! Or Maverick in the Kitchen, Nini, who wants to prove that she's more than a pastry chef and can hold her own against the best of the best. How satisfying would it be to be eliminated and then kick down the door and say, I'm back. Our former finalist, Lisa, who got close to tasting the title and doesn't want to let it slip away again. I'm pumped, let's go. One of these chefs will earn another chance at $250,000 and the title of Top Chef. <laughs> this is Last Chance Kitchen, presented by BMW. Need any Karen. Welcome to Last Chance Kitchen. To be eliminated, to be told to pack your knives and go, it's mentally exhausting, it's emotionally exhausting, but I don't know what reserves I have to go into this and fight my way back. Well, the reigning chef of Last Chance Kitchen, please step forward. <laughs> Joe Angelo, Jamie, and Jen, please. <laughs> Step to the side. <laughs> I hope I keep this winning streak going. I'm two for two. I feel good. I'm pumped. Let's go. You didn't think you'd have to cook against everyone, did you? You never know. I got to cook last challenge. What'd you make? I made a steak for these guys to sauce. It was good. Yeah. Were you judged on it? No. Your steak was our least favorite steak today. <laughs> Although, let me tell you, if I screwed it up, I would've gotten hell for it. But I did okay. Lisa is the reigning champ of Last Chance Kitchen. Congrats. Congrats. She's won two in a row, cooking great food. So this is how it's gonna go. There are two challenges between you and rejoining the competition. The two chefs who survived the first part will then cook off to get back in. If you lose the first challenge, you're out. Your time on Top Chef is done. I'm torn emotionally. I have to fight my best friend here, but how satisfying would it be to like be eliminated and then kick down the door and say like, I'm back. Karen and Nini, we asked you to team up to create a dish using contrasting flavor profiles. You chose to harmonize umami and sour, and what we got was more sour and sweet. It's a tough challenge because you're limited to highlighting two flavor profiles. So the minute you bring in something else, the sweetness, then you feel like it's distracting from the umami. The dish was fantastic. I, I, I really mean that. But I thought the sour just made that fresh tomato a little too sweet. Without the parameters of the challenge, it may have been a winner. For tonight's challenge, let's see what happens when you make a sweet and sour dish on purpose. The two of you that make the best dish that harmonize those two flavors of sweet and sour move on to the next round. Heard. Everyone's confident. I like this. <laughs> 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 They're just exhausted. <laughs> Dead on the inside. <laughs> you have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What'd you grab, Elise? Scallops and skirt steak. I haven't decided yet. Watch what happens. It's like a shopping spree. Yeah, look at everything. Sweet. 27 minutes, girls. Chefs would be better than girls. Where I'm from, they called me chef, too. Yeah! I didn't, I didn't want Whoa. to say guys. I do not want to make that mistake again. What do you got over there, Lisa? Uh, palm sugar, fish sauce, rice vinegar, 
I immediately think of a sauce that I did on my food truck. It's like a sweet, spicy, sour sauce. I decide to go with scallops that are kind of naturally sweet, some crispy potatoes. I know what I want to make. I hope this is a winning dish. I mean, I always hope it's a winning dish. How's it going, Nini? It's a mouthful of fennel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but sweet and sour triggers steak and onions, strangely, in my head. Every component has to have a sweet and sour flavor, and it has to be very, very, like, there. So I'm using fennel and passion fruit. Should I keep the seeds in or no? No, no, no. Probably not. no. no. All that precious juice. I don't know how this is all going to work out, but I have no choice but to make it work. 21 minutes. If there is anything that's a roller coaster of emotions, this is it. But it's not over until it's over. So I decide that I'm going to make a sweet and sour shrimp dish with grilled pickled pineapple. I think that the bigger danger in a sweet and sour dish is overdoing it on the sweet side. <laughs> How's it going, Lisa? Are you going with scallops or what? Scallops. You're doing a little pan sear action? I'm a deep fry him. I'm kidding. I'm not. Ah. <laughs> hey, if you see Jamie's chicken in there, let us know. <laughs> oh, burn! I love doing, you know, sweet and sour. I think that it, it really activates a lot of your taste buds. It can go from sweet to a little sour and then a little sweet again and then like super sour at the end. I feel good. I feel confident. I think it's coming together beautifully. Are you gonna get that marinating? Yeah, I'm gonna marinate all three. <laughs> yeah, three steaks. Why the hell not? Just in case. Sweet and sour, sweet and sour. My pineapples come out perfect. I'm going to pickle it. I want to make sure that the pickle is sour enough that it, it balances the sweetness of the pineapple. Chefs, you're on 15 minutes. Woo! Ah! Switch your pans, switch your pans. <laughs> You gotta throw it away. I did not want to flambe the steak. <laughs> when you marinate something, if it has a little bit of sugar, it's gonna burn. Thank God I got a backup. Come on, Nini. You got this. Quick recovery. What's going on? They're doing, uh, I think, hey. sweet and sour. Sweet and sour, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, if you guys are a lot of help, I'll go over here. <laughs> hey, Karen. Hey, Chef. What do you got here? Oh, pineapple. Oh, that's in the sweet side. Sweet, but it's pickled. It's grilled uh -huh. and then pickled with some lime and some satsuma pickling. Got liquid. it. Okay. Some shrimp. Okay. Uh, a little Coriander. sweet and sour sauce. A little chili. Yeah, different stuff. Okay, I hear you. You know, old school takeout. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Top chef. What's up? What do you got? Hey, you know, just cooking some stuff. Is this sweet sour right here? It's gonna be. What's in the sauce? Fish sauce, coconut sugar, ginger, garlic, scallions. So you do it with scallops? Yep. Got it. How are you cooking with scallops? Frying them? I'm frying them, fryer. I'm going to deep fry right. everything. In the fryer. All right. <laughs> Get in there. I'm not. Yeah. All right. Can only hope. <laughs> Hi, Nini. Hi, there. The steak's cooking? Yes. I see it over there. And so what's the sweet and sour side of this? So I have um, some passion fruit. I have some caramelized onions that have deglazed with balsamic. I marinated the um, steaks with passion fruit, black garlic, some soy okay. um, for the sweet and sour. And I'm making a half raw, half roasted fennel salad that's going to be so dressed. That's some more sweetness too. Yeah. All right. Ten minutes, chefs. Nini, how's your steak? Ah! Oh sh! It's burnt on the bottom. Nine minutes. Yikes. Nini, what are you doing? I think I'm just going to grill it. Now I'm on Plan C steak. Deep fryer. Come on, girl, you got it. I'm just gonna deep fry it. This is my Hail Mary of steaks. I love you, Jen. Five minutes left, chef. Now we push, now we push. You happy with it, Lisa? It's looking delicious. How are you doing, best friend? I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous, girl, you got this. Three minutes, chef. What's she doing, mounting a sauce? 
I love how my pickling liquid tastes. I love how my sweet and sour sauce tastes, but I'm worried that it's a little bit too simple. Nini's plating something that looks beautiful, steak with a beautiful sauce on it, and Lisa is making a really beautiful scallop dish. I'm worried that I went too simple and too on the nose for the challenge. One minute, chefs, one minute. Looking good, ladies, looking good. 30 seconds. I think what they all need to watch out for is that it's sweet and sour, not sweet and sour spicy. Right. Five, Five four, three, three, two, one. one. Time's up. Nice yes. job, Chef. Nice job, Nice job, Karen. Hi, Chef. Hi, Chef. What do we have? It's a little sweet and sour shrimp dressed in fish sauce, brown rice vinegar, lime juice, a little bit of chili and garlic, and then the pineapple is grilled, pickled in coconut sugar, rice wine vinegar, with a little bit of the little clementines mm -hmm. with it. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Nini. Hi, Chef. So what do we have? We have steak with caramelized onions and a grilled fennel salad. What's in the sauce? Fresh passion fruit juice, a little bit of garlic molasses, salt, pepper, olive oil. Great, thanks. So what do we have, Lisa? All right, so we have a tamarind lacquered uh, seared scallop with a sweet, sour sauce. What's the crunch that I'm getting Passion at? fruit seeds. Mm -hmm. And then you have a kefir lime and slightly coconut sugar dusted potato chip meant to kind of dip into the salsa. Thanks. So, sweet and sour. All the dishes I, th I thought were really good. There was one dish I thought that was better than the other two. Good combination of sweet and sour, nicely cooked, really well balanced. And the winner. It's Karen. It knocked me over. What I liked about the dish is a lot of times when you mix sweet and sour, you get heavy sweet and sour, and it wasn't. It was really, really clean. Shrimp were perfectly cooked. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just got eliminated 20 minutes ago, and now I'm back on top, and I have a chance to get back into the competition and do what I'm supposed to be doing, which is, you know, winning Top Chef. Okay, other two dishes. Nini, I thought your sauce had that good sour punch. Red onions have natural sweetness to them. Steak, maybe slightly undercooked. The sauce was really the star of the dish. Lisa, that sauce has got a great sour punch. Again, sweetness from the scallops, right? That's kind of what I figured you were going for. Yes, Chef. OK, one of you is about to go home, and one of you is about to cook against Karen for another shot at the title of Top Chef. There was one dish that I think just did a little better, sort of bringing those two combinations together. 